The media landscape is changing. If you haven't noticed, a lot of Warner Brothers Discovery properties have moved to Netflix. Reality TV tends to handle writer strikes very well, so you probably won't have to worry about your favorite car shows going away. Some of them might change platforms though as certain conglomerates seem to be renting their IP to places like Netflix. On that note, maybe it's about time we looked at one of Netflix's car-based reality TV shows, Rust Valley Restores, and where the cast members are today. With the show's mission completed, would the people we grew to know and love be willing to return? Is this the end of the small shop in Canada? Welcome back to Tuna No Crust, and we're here to tell you what the cast of Rust Valley Restorers is doing today. But let's start by setting the scene. Rust Valley is located in Tappan, British Columbia, Canada. It is called that because of its abundant junkyards. The dry air keeps a graveyard of cars in decent condition. This has led to a booming classic car culture in an area otherwise known for nature, art, and movies. And Mike Hall, the star of Rust Valley Restorers, had over 500 of those vintage vehicles. My name is Mike Hall, and over the last 40 years, against better judgment, I managed to amass over 400 classic cars. These cars are my legacy, but I'm running out of time to restore them all. Michael Hall's love of cars started when he was a teenager. He accumulated classic cars while working as a rock blaster, a job that is exactly what it sounds like and is exactly as cool as it sounds. Decades later, he had accumulated 400 cars on his property near the Trans-Canada Highway. He tried to sell his property, including the cars all at once, but it wasn't until producers approached him about a documentary that he would find his true calling. At age 62, Hall finally decided to turn his passion into a career. He opened Russ Brothers Restoration and hired two helpers, Avery Schoff, an old friend with experience in running a similar shop, and his son, Connor Charman Hall. Sarah Ward joined shortly after the show started in 2018 and mostly hunted for working parts. Cassidy McCown also appeared later as an auto body tech. It currently has four or five seasons. We'll get to that. That said, what is the show like? Rust Valley Restorers resembled shows like Fast and Loud and Graveyard Cars that focus on bringing old cars back to their former glory. It was clear from the first episode that Mike Hall took things like resurrection and dreams seriously, even if it meant going in the red. Luckily, his son and staff would usually try to rein him in. Holy. You guys spent a little time here, eh? Once you start, Frank, where do you stop? That's what happened with the $1,500 budget. Straight out the door. I've got to look good in that, eh? I think you'd look great in that. You want to buy it? Well, let's stay for a little rip. In a slight twist, the crew would work on two cars per episode, one from Hall's collection and one from a client. In both cases, the goal was restoration rather than extensive modification. They were careful to road test every car, and as per the show's purpose, they tried to keep everything on a budget. In some ways, Michael Hall is the anti-Richard Rawlings. While he's not exactly poor, he's nowhere near as business savvy as Rawlings. Part of the fun of the show is seeing him weigh his passion against his pocketbook. It's the joy of seeing a novice businessman go from scrappy to successful. You might be wondering why you haven't heard of Rust Valley Restoration aside from a lucky Netflix recommendation. The simple answer is that the show started on the History Channel instead of Discovery Channel, meaning it might not be on your cable or streaming package. But things have gotten more complicated. Let's focus on where the show is now. Any more bright ideas? I'll go get my deck truck. Okay! <laughs> Idiots. If you have a Netflix subscription, you're in luck. The first two seasons of Rust Valley Restorers are waiting for you. But wait, why does it say three parts? While the first season is intact, the 12 episodes of season two got cut in half. Part two is the first half of season two and part three is the second half. Things are a little simpler for Seasons 3 and 4, which are confusingly renamed to Seasons 4 and 5 to align with Netflix's arrangement. Those are both on Motor Trend On Demand in their entirety. Knowing the current environment, they will wind up on Netflix sooner rather than later. 
Still, it sucks that you need two subscriptions to see the show before seasons 5, 6 airs on Netflix. Nothing is confirmed, but if a new season happens, Netflix will likely be the one to host it. Hopefully, they will bring seasons 3 and 4 to the same platform. Nothing is worse than wanting to see a sequel to something on Netflix, only for it to not be there. Hey! Uh, ugh, f stinks in here. I hate this car. If you're looking for something new to binge and have a hole in your soul where car shows used to be, Rust Valley Restorers is probably up your alley. Just remember that the way Netflix has split up season 2 leaves a lot to be desired. But will this Canadian car show ever get another season? As you may have guessed, it's complicated. It's important to remember that Rust Valley Restorers had a mission. Turn Mike Hall's collection into something that would bring in the box. One of the running conflicts of the show was that Mike Hall wanted to make money, but he also loved his classic cars. He had to learn how to balance budget and passion, something Rawlings already had a handle on. As Avery Shove put it, his love to resurrect something, it clouds his vision. In October 2021, the vast majority of Hall's collection was put up for auction. Over 500 cars left his field of dreams and found new owners. It was not an easy decision to make. There were tears in the car lover's eyes as his babies left the lot. I mean, like I said, I just hope, like I said, a buddy of mine once explained to me we don't own these cars, we caretake them. Anyway. Today, his cars can be found in most parts of Canada, New York, and elsewhere. He still has around 50 of his favorite vehicles. I was supposed to keep 10, I'm up to 52. So as I like to say, I have a full deck of cards to play with still. And even after the auction, he wanted to know that his cars went to loving homes. He advised winners to send pictures if something happened to their vehicles. That's how much he cared for them. Now that most of the lot is gone though, any future Rust Valley Restorers episodes would need to get more creative. It's worth mentioning, however, that Rust Valley Restorers was not just about Hall's collection. The shop took commissions from clients as well. It was half of the business aspect of the show. If the series ditched its split formula and focused on one client's car at a time, it might be able to come back. But would the cast members come back to the show? Probably. Here's what they're all doing today. First off, you will be pleased to know that the shop is still open. Russ Brothers Restoration is still in active business, as evidenced by Mike and Connor's Instagram pages. However, note that the website is down. The link on their Facebook page, which is still active, is now defunct. You might have to ask when they're open if you happen to be in British Columbia. On that note, Mike Hall continues to maintain Russ Brothers Restoration. He has not gone back to his old demolition job. A recent photo on the business webpage shows him with a big-ass fan for the shop. Even though most of his collection has been scattered to parts unknown, his passion for classic cars has combined with his skills into a fulfilling career. He won't stop anytime soon. We can safely assume Connor Hall has followed in his father's footsteps. His Instagram profile describes him as a mechanic on Rust Valley Restorers. Note, though, that he's currently married to Jada Mazza King Kovacs. That could throw a wrench into his plans as a mechanic, but for now, we wish him well. What about people outside of the family? Avery Shof is still a mechanic at Rust Brothers. His face is also recognizable enough that he has his own website. If you know him as the Muscle Car MacGyver or know someone who might be able to challenge his title, you can buy a shirt with that title on his merch shop. You may not have seen Sarah Ward often on the show, but she was there for most of its run. The shop's part manager maintains her Rust Valley Restoration title on her Facebook and Instagram profiles. It's safe to assume that she still works at the shop. She's also very fond of her 1938 Buick, which she has named Medusa. Finally, Cassidy McCowan not only seems to work at Rust Brothers, but has made a brand out of doing so. Like Shove, she has her own website with merchandise. The words Rust Broad are now available on shirts, mugs, and posters for your convenience. She posts regularly on social media, including TikTok and Instagram. It's safe to say that she would probably come back to the show if asked. Overall, everybody's doing fine, and they seem to still be involved with Rust Brothers. 
Maybe some of their branding prowess will rub off on my call if it hasn't already. Now, what most fans have been wondering, when will Season 5 be released? Well, an announcement is likely to be made in the next couple of months with the exact date, but it is likely to be in 2024. Given the success of the show so far and the commitment of the cast, you can expect a Season 5. Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick post, let everybody know what's going on. Um, some of you may have noticed we haven't been posting a lot of Rust Bros related stuff. We've been so busy with our construction company this year that it's just hair straight back. We got crews all over the province and we're not really doing a lot of shop related stuff this year. Um, we're not taking on any more builds. We're just kind of tinkering around on some of our own cars on our days off and that's about it. So that being said, there is still another season of the show coming. It's all filmed. It's all wrapped up. It's done. It's ready to go. We're just waiting to hear when they're going to air it. We don't know yet. No one's told us yet, but as soon as we know, we'll be sharing it on social media, letting everybody know what's coming. But if Hall resurrected old cars again on Netflix, would you watch the show? Or do you think it served its purpose and should not get a reboot? Either one is possible given Hall's passion. And is there any passion you'd like to make a career out of, even if it hurts? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell so that you aren't left in the dust. We'll see you next time.